Welcome back. Uh, last week, we were all moved to tears by a video which went viral, showing uh, a deaf lady having her cochlear implants turned on and experiencing sound for the first time. The footage which followed showed Joanne Mills' reaction as she emerged from a world of silence and finally experienced something that so many of us take for granted, the sense of sound. Before we see that moment, we'll meet Joanne, and she's here now. And it's so lovely to meet you because... The, the clip, I think, went viral about eight days ago, and it's, it's one of those clips that everybody was talking about it, and we will show it shortly, but I wanted to start with your story first of all. And from, from the first age that your parents realised that you, you might have a problem with your hearing and that you could be deaf, you were around about two years old, were you? Yes, um, I started lip reading when I was um, two years old, yeah. Um, my parents didn't realise I was deaf till I was two. Mm -hmm. And um, from then, it's just... But my mum always wanted me to go to mainstream school, but I did go to a special, special school up to the age of seven. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, they had, well, because she was she was clapping or something in the garden and you didn't turn around yeah, and then she realised that. Realized that was that the first actual reaction when my parents realised that I was there. And um, when I was younger, my father used to work away. And my mum said to have the doubt that I was with family there. Because yeah. um, I was playing in the garden and just sort of did this like clap, and well, I didn't like sort of react. As you were getting older and you went to school, they gave you a, a phonic box. Yes, it was a phonic box. This was quite um, quite a norm for deaf children back in the seventies, and it was like a big box with like straps that used to like fit, to fit on your chair, and um, yeah, it used to really stand out. And I always remember like going to like um, like. Parties, and I used to feel very left out from like, yeah. the other you? children because I did wear well, you a had, gear. You had speech therapy from yeah. a very early age, and yeah, this is where too. you learnt sort of lip reading and different yeah. techniques to, to be able to cope. Um, some of the things, lip patterns was another thing that you learn, and something very clever that I'd never heard of was, before was how you learnt to understand sound was by using certain objects. So. For example, uh, a balloon would yeah. make you be able to understand yeah. what the letter B would sound like. Yeah, because um, obviously because I'm a very, very skilled lip reader, like I said, since the age of two. And um, yes, we even used to have like like a balloon and you'd have to like go B and you could feel the vibration of the balloon. Yeah. And maybe if you had like a feather and you, had, and you could feel like how the soft the feather was. Mm. Very and, clever. And um, yeah, just, just over the years, just uh, like, I said lip reading, and you do get a very, very good awareness of the pattern of sound and speech. Mm -hmm. So at what stage was the, the cochlear implant suggested? Right, well, um, when I was 29 years old, there was something not quite right, and it was when I was driving, and I realised in the wing mirror that there were like sort of like dirt and black spots. And um, I didn't have it checked out, and it was confirmed that I was actually going blind. Oh, and that was the moment I had to change the way I live. But I've tried not to let it be a negative and always like a positive. And yes. I know a lot of people might not relate to that, but rather than drive for 250 miles on the motorway, I tried to do the positive and a train journey and having like a coffee and a magazine and I tried to... But nevertheless, you can, be as, you can be positive about it, but yeah. being profoundly deaf and then, and it's Usher syndrome you have, which yeah, is very, right. very it's rare. It's very rare. Um, it also meant that you were losing another one of your senses. Yeah. And so the world would have been silent and dark. Yeah. And, and I can't describe how absolutely devastating it was. I mean, I'm only human, I was like about of depression and I felt very low. Yeah, I bet. And I had to come to terms with it. I can remember it hit me for the first time when I was actually with my guide dog, you know, when I was having like a training. And I can remember having a glimpse of myself in a shop window and seeing this blind lady walking past with a guide dog. Yeah. And I've always been somebody who's been deaf and to say that, I think that's when it really hit me. But well, you had um, the implant put in, and the way it works is that it, it, it works with the, the damaged nerve of the ear. Is that right? right? Yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, the best way to describe the implant was then because obviously I've had both sides done, and there are 22 electrodes in each ear. Yeah. So this is when you can see on the video, it is so, so emotional because there's special all 44 electrodes mm. like, on. And, um, 
just being able to hear for the first time was just uh, Were you, were you, did you, uh, <laughs> it was explained to you how, how it might be, how successful it might be, um, because I know that the, the sound has had to be turned up very gradually yeah. so it doesn't overwhelm your brain, but that moment when you hear, which yeah. we're going to see in a second, for yeah. the first time, yeah. in itself must be overwhelming. It's it absolutely overwhelming, it's just not what I imagine Sam to be like. Really? I mean, on that video, that's actually only the first time I've had two more adjustments, and even only yesterday I've had like another third of the volume adjusting. And um, to think of it happening like eight days ago, yeah. I'm dealing with the actual emotional impact of yes. being able to hear sound again. But you have to remember as well, I'm still lip reading. Yes, yes. And this is because it's going to be a habit I have to break after 40 yes, years. Yes, but what a wonderful but, habit to be able to break. I know. And, uh, just because it gives me comfort right now and I'm like lip reading, but um, I've had the actual test at the hospital to prove that I can actually hear without lip reading. Well, let's have a look at this moment that went viral across the world. We all love good news. And I won't cry again. <laughs> <laughs> I won't cry again. <laughs> this, this really, yeah. truly is an, an amazing clip and incredible to watch. Can you hear my voice coming through both sides? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hear your own voice. Yeah. God. Oh. <laughs> you've done so well, Joanne. It's such a huge thing that you've just achieved. You should be really proud of yourself. Oh, it's just been fantastic. <laughs> what an extraordinary thing to experience. And what you found out then was how noisy the world is. Uh, at, the, at that moment, it was just an experience of sound, and it is so hard to explain. It just, I, because I've always wore hearing aids, I've always picked up like a white noise, mm -hmm. and, but it's been very low, because deaf people don't pick up low sound and like vibration and rhythm. But when the actual situation happened, it was more everything was high. Yes. And when I said hi, she explained to me, the therapist in the video, that it meant that I was actually picking up sound and the sound. Yes, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. But there were there were certain things that you don't even think about. Sort of, you didn't necessarily realise different accents when people were talking. How different how yeah. different people sounded. That that been the mode because after the third adjustment I had, which happened yesterday, I recognised the accent for the first time. Mm. And the first one, I recognised my Jewelry accent, which is yeah. just, just so funny in itself. But yet, as time going by, it's getting clearer and clearer. And the best way I can describe it, there's lots of different noises happening right now, but I don't quite identify what the sound are. Yes. yes. But it's like a process and it's one day But also, at time. music. You have so music. much music to catch up on. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to catch up on all the in my <laughs> lifetime, but yes, I will try. But the music experience is so daunting. And um, I listened to Imagine by John Lennon, and this was suggested by an old girlfriend of mine called Tanya. And this was just prior to surgery, and it was because we did not know if the implants were going to be a success at the time. Yeah. And she just said, uh, good luck, and hopefully have a chance to listen to this song. But since then, the suggestions have been absolutely phenomenal with what song people are coming up with. But I, I found it fitting how she was like the first lady to suggest the song. Yeah. Yes. Imagine and the word and the the of the song. With. Well, the things I mean, that the things that you've suggested that struck uh, a, a chord with you were things that obviously so many hearing people take for granted, which was the sound of a ticking clock, the sound of a light switch being yeah, like clicked, your own, breath. your own breathing. Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. That's when it like, actually really hit me for the first time, because I had like two days while I was in Birmingham at the hospital, and I was quite looking forward to getting back home and what I thought was my silent home, but it, it wasn't silent. No. no. It was like I said, it was the clock ticking, the, the sound of my foot there, even like the, like when there was like the hangout in the wardrobe, everything sounded so loud. Gurgling loud, tap was the other one yeah. you thought was unusual. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for coming in. It's so nice to meet you after having watched that. Um, and, and just good luck with everything. And, thank you. Because it's a working process still, I know, yeah. for you. So yeah. good luck. Have with you used it. the telephone yeah. yet? 
Yeah. Have um, you used the telephone yet? Not yet. No. <laughs> not, not yet, but like I said, because of the test I've had, I can't actually get the word, but I think, it's like I said, it's only been eight days. Yeah. It's just mm. one, yes. one step at a time. Overwhelming. I'm, I'm enjoying the roller coaster and I'm amazed at how, how the public have been so kind and it shows you how beautiful people have been and people do generally care and the actual global awareness of Usher syndrome. It's not just what's happening in my personal life, it's also what's happening in the global awareness mm, yeah. of Usher syndrome. Because I only recently moved back home. And when you do that thing, you register with a doctor and mm. a dentist. And I was absolutely amazed that I met two medical professionals in one week and they yeah. both had not heard of Usher syndrome. Wow. And to think that this is going to... We'll put, uh, we'll put details of anyone, uh, anyone who is actually interested in the cochlear implants, which I know don't work for everyone, oh, but yes, also course, for Usher yeah. syndrome as well. We'll put yeah. all of those details on our, on our website. And yeah. thank you thank so you. much. Thank Lovely you. Lovely to meet you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, we're going to pop into the hub with Jenny. Oh, so many people have got in touch. Joanne, I wish I could read you every message. Everyone's been reduced to tears watching that the video as well. It's so moving. Louise Cobby says, I have to say watching the footage was one of the best things I've ever seen. Truly amazing. Good luck, Joanne. Keep smiling. Mia Thomas, it's so moving to see how someone's life can be turned around by something many of us just take for granted every day. Zara, I know it's not quite the same, but I'm partially deaf and I'll never forget the first day I wore my hearing aid. Being able to hear the sounds of the birds and a tractor in the field was amazing and Joanna Jones says the footage of Joanne hearing for the first time is very emotional how amazing for her and all the best to you and the new experiences you're going to have I think we all share that absolutely thank you Thanks, so Jenny. much thank Brilliant. you thank you right here's today's competition <laughs> 